What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel or back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. I am a mom of three and I have a handmade baby boutique on Etsy and I am opening up a women's boutique. It is actually open, but I do not have everything on there yet. So if you like sewing, embroidery, and chaos and mom life, consider subscribing. But now to get to it. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that sitting here doing stuff and I just realized that I sewed my chaps backwards. So now I have to completely seam rip everything out, which is probably one of the things that I might just hate the most about sewing. That's why you should just pay attention whenever you're sewing. But when you have kids all over the place, it's a little hard sometimes so and again as I said I am human I am not perfect but so today Jake took the kiddos if you do not know Jake is my husband he took my kiddos to um, church his dad is a pastor and actually retiring so they went there for his um, like honorary retirement party. So yes, I probably should have went, but at the same time too, I am only one person and I have a lot of stuff to get done. It's kind of hard to like go to everything. I think like people get the misconception that whenever you own your own business and you work from home and all of this stuff, which, let me know if anyone else feels this way, but it's like you actually can't do as much as what you would want to do if you just worked for someone else. Cause it's like you go to work, you come home and that's like it, you know, you can clean the house, do all this stuff. But like I literally every single day am balancing the housework, the kids, the business, and it's just like some days my days start at 1 a.m. Some days my days start at 2, 3, 4, 5 a.m. Like today, I was like, oh, I have this one done. Wouldn't be a big deal, and I will actually sleep in till 6 o'clock. Well, needless to say, I thought wrong or I assumed wrong because I do not have this done because now I have to completely redo it. But it's just the chaps. So, um, yeah, I'm going to sit here and seam rip this crap out and kind of, I don't know. Kind of relaxing, but it's not as more frustrating. But. All right, so finally got everything seam ripped. That was fun. It looked like it snowed in my room in the middle of summer, but hey, you know, it's okay. Mistakes happen. So now that this is taken care of, now I gotta go back through and try to re top stitch and everything else and all that fun stuff. Just gave the dogs breakfast. My life is super exciting. Hoy. It's just one thing after another. Like, little things like that. I don't let them get to me, but at the same time, too, it's just like. I want to just get my stuff done and then I know I need to pay a lot more attention to certain things. But see how one is supposed to go up and one's supposed to go down. So needless to say, they were going the same way. And I don't know how I didn't catch that yesterday, but yeah. don't know how I didn't catch it. 
probably because just momming and working at the same time. But I'm glad that I caught it today before I shipped it out. Because I would have been really, 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 really upset. Because I swear it's been like... So I don't take people's reviews to heart and I don't want to say like I don't take them seriously but just some that I've gotten and I try not to even really respond to the negative ones and I know some people are gonna be like you need to like do that stuff and you need to make everyone super super happy the planet is there's so many people you're not gonna make everyone happy I just literally had a woman and I'm not trying to diss on people, but she had contacted me about my one set and about sizing. And I said, well, it runs, you know, the shirts run through the size, blah, 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 all the stuff. They were like, you know, all the information. And then she had messaged me and was like, okay, well, is it okay if I just buy the shorts and I buy the image like the image of the shirt that i was selling off of you and i was like she goes i'll just make it with my cricket and i was like you know kind of like a little taken back by that but i was like okay you know whatever it is what it is and i just politely told her i said you know um i can't sell you the image uh you can find it on Etsy. I tried to work with her. I was like, you know, I just took my dog because this was when I took Tui to urgent care. I was like, I just, you know, took my dog to urgent care. I am, um, I can even send you the link. That's fine. Like whatever. Just trying to be nice. You know, I mean, I might gatekeep a little bit of stuff, but there's some things I don't see anything wrong with gatekeeping. I mean, you need to do the research. It's your business. And if you want it to go places, I don't know. I'm probably going to like upset a whole bunch of people by saying that. But there is some things I will say. And then there's some things I... There's some things I won't say. And there's some things I will say. I mean, it's just like... Like... It's... I had someone reach out and ask where I got my one fabric from. I told her it's not a secret. Like, you know, it is what it is. But I'm not gonna be like, how do I wanna put it? Like I'm looking at making some things and I've been researching these things, okay? And it took me so long to actually sit here. I think I've been searching for how to do this technique for like a freaking month and it has nothing to do with sewing. And I have been like searching um, products and I've been like trying to figure out the best way to do this stuff. I've bought products and I'm like, this is not the right product after I sat here and I did it. And then like, you know, I, I've done my trial and error and I've, I've seen this technique and I was like obsessed with it. But at the same time too, I did my research and I found it on my own. I didn't annoy the person and be like, what, um, what chemical are you using to get this effect in this you know product i'm not gonna announce what it is yet because i just finally like i said figured it out and i just got the product in so that's gonna be a different video it's gonna be like a surprise video but that's what i'm saying like i have no problem saying where i get fabric from showing how like i do something i try to get as close as i can because i can't always do how-to videos because the kiddos i mean i try to save you guys' ears from listening to screaming all the time but it's just like I might gatekeep some stuff but anyways back on track so the woman asked about the design I was super nice about it I was like hey whatever you know 
I don't care. You want to save some money. Everyone's going through some stuff. It's fine. Make the shower on your Cricut. It is what it is. And then, anyways, try to work with her all the stuff. And... Oh, no, I don't like how that's sewed. I'm going to seam that out because um, it's going to be a sticky little pumpkin. Um, but anyways... So she got the shorts and she was like, I I'm not happy with the quality of the hem job. And I was like, okay, you know, I do apologize. Like I do this this way because like I was trying, the one material is a bitch to work with. I'm not going to lie. My one serger freaking hates that material and it is what it is. So I was like, well, I do apologize. I use a, you know, longer straight stitch on this because it is Jersey. I've tried to do a zigzag stitch and the zigzag stitch looks horrible and so on and so on. And I was like, it's no problem though. If you want to return them, I have no issue. Like I sold two pairs of shorts after even taking her, like after even talking to her. So I was like, it's not a problem. And she was like, I don't want to waste the money on uh, returning them. And I was like, okay, like, that's fine. So after I explained everything to her, she literally left me a four-star review and said that the hem was crooked. Well, if you look at the picture, it's, I I'm not a machine. It's not going to be perfectly, like, I try to get it as straight as possible. But people are going to be people. And I literally had a nice little laugh about it and was just kind of like, it is what it is. And I even had some woman bought a pair of pants and she literally messaged, or she didn't even message me. She just left a review three months after buying the pants. I think it was like three months. Yeah, because it was 4th of July she left the review. She literally left the review and was like, um, something about the elastic and the pants rolling and this and that and all this stuff and that it, they've only been worn once and it's not like she can return them. And I'm like, okay, well, no offense, but you're literally messaging or commenting this or reviewing this like three months after buying the item and there's ways to try to like fix like get the elastic to go back to you know if it's rolling because trust me my husband and my son because my husband of course wants Gage to have stuff he has like you know matching father son stuff they're freaking boxers that he buys them or like Gage's boxers for one pair, I'm pretty sure is like 15 or $18. And then Jake's are like probably about 30. And they're, you know, supposed to be this really, really good brand and stuff like that. But needless to say, the image is like, he just got a pair of boxers, prime example. He just got a pair of boxers probably, like, uh, March. So, March, April, May, June, July, August. Six months ago, okay? And the image is already fading on it. Like, it's actually, like, the material image. It's just different things. It's like, you know, it's not... Handmade is supposed to be, like, very good quality to last. But at the same time, too... We're not machines. So I try to not let reviews like that stuff get to me. But it's just like freaking how, I don't know. How Etsy is anymore. It's like kind of driving me crazy and I really need to get the time together and make, um, I got a website. And I did a free trial right now. I'm not using Shopify or anything like that. It's 
like you can list five items for free and then I think it's like a hundred items it's like 20 bucks a month but I was like you know what I'm gonna just test it out put a couple items on there first since it's free see if I even like the program it's not like okay here's a free trial and then if you don't create your website in like you know two weeks you're getting paid $40 or charged $40 this video is probably just going to be like me ranting but let me know what you guys think about all that stuff because I, I would love to actually hear like how do you guys take reviews how do you do you you know what are your thoughts on gatekeeping and all of this stuff because maybe I don't like the way that string looks maybe it's just me maybe i'm being a little weird about it everyone's different i get that okay that's better but yeah let me know you guys' thoughts below like what was it i was watching tiktok the other day and someone called someone uh yeah because I guess the woman didn't share exactly, like, she, like, spent the time and made this product, like, designed it, everything else like that, and she wouldn't tell the one woman where she actually, like, sourced her stuff from, and the woman was, like, she's rude for doing that and stuff like that, and it's like, well, she spent the time actually designing the item and getting like the proper material and like you know like it was bracelets i think it was bracelets like metal bracelets or something like that i don't know but she was like being called her and i'm like well she designed it and she like found out where she sources everything from and they manufacture it and she did all that because that takes a lot of freaking time you can buy shit on alibaba but i'm gonna tell you right now you can get screwed like it's not just that easy and i get the whole everything about like helping each other out which like i said you want to know where i get some fabric from i i don't have an issue just, like telling you i don't have an issue telling you how i do things but when it comes to like like something like i'm talking about like what i'm going to be doing here soon it took me a month to actually figure out how to do this technique and like I said it has nothing to do with sewing or anything else like that it's just something I'm going to do for the women's boutique but I gotta write this but yeah let me know what you guys like think like your thoughts on all of that stuff because I'm definitely interested to see like how you guys like handle different things. I mean, I just feel like, I don't know, like the process of like making something, everything's gonna be different for everyone. Like I can show you exactly how I make something, but you guys might end up like changing it a little bit because it works better for you. So it is what it is that way, but one down. Alright, I'm going to stop rambling. Okay, get this stuff done. So, enjoy watching me work. I guess, too, before I, like, jump into this and start playing my music and just jamming out to get work done. Um, I'm not trying to bash my customers. I love all of my customers. And I... Just was like a little irritated because it's like you go above and beyond for some and like you want to do certain things for them and I always try to like I said I was never taking rush orders again and I took two on but um just like I feel like of course being handmade sorry I'm looking for a pattern guys 
I guess, of course, like being handmade, you're always going to be held to a higher standard, which is like fine. But I just feel like to, um, sometimes people, people are never, never going to be happy. I mean, uh, I was watching the one lady. I think you say like, it's like Cassandra, but it's, um, Cache Customs or something like that a while ago. And she had even said like how she went, um, above and beyond for the one woman and the tutu and stuff like that. And, uh, the woman still didn't leave like a five star review and it is, it's like kind of like downing when that happens, but I don't know. I feel like it's just, uh, people forget that we're moms, we're grandmas, college students, you know, some of us, I still do HVAC work on top of all of this, and I mean, people still have a life, they have kids, they have everything going on, they just kind of assume that we're uh, we're machines or we're you know an etsy right now i mean let's talk about that real quick freaking they they want you to like send stuff out as fast as possible as fast as possible if if you can do one to two shipment days the only people that i know of doing like one like i was doing one to two shipment days whenever i was not getting like 60 to 80 orders in a month or so and whenever I didn't have like three kids and all this stuff and it's like yeah that's understanding but then too it's like you guys want us to produce quality products but you want to promote everything that's like one to two shipping days and most of the people who can produce one to two shipping days is the people who are on Etsy that sell wholesale items. And they're not even supposed to be on Etsy because it's supposed to be like vintage items or handmade items. And I'm not even gonna get into trademark stuff and copyright stuff right now because that's just a whole, that's a whole nother story. I see so many people posting and I'm, you know what? You do you, you do you, you want to run stuff that way. That is completely up to you. But I see so many people on TikTok and they're doing so many smiley faces and I just seen someone do a Taylor Swift shirt. I'm like, anyways, I'm not gonna get into it. I will say is crazy to say, but the smiley face and like, I think they own like over, I don't know, I've seen different things. You Google it, it says like they own like so many designs in like over a hundred countries and all this stuff. And then I've heard that they, which I don't even know how it's possible, but it might be possible. They own like 3,000 different, um, actually like smiley face images, like copyrights for those. And it's just like, I don't know. I just have a feeling that all of these major companies social media being the way it is right now I just have a feeling that like you haven't really heard except for that catastrophe going on with that one Disney company that was selling the um Mickey Mouse ears and that avoided the uh <sighs> the cease and desist letters but that was the last one that I really heard about with Disney 
And I know Louis Vuitton was hitting people really hard with um, cease and desist. But, I mean, again, you want to take that chance. You do you. But, I just like, I really think these companies are just, because they hire people. I guess we're just going to touch base on all of this stuff right now. But, they hire people to actually, um, like, stock these shops that sell this stuff and take note of their sales. They actually will purchase stuff from them. And so they have proof that, you know, they actually bought a legitimate trademark copyright item. And I do my best to get on, what is it? The actual trademark website. I can link it down below for you guys if you don't know what I'm talking about. But literally, I, I try to get on there as much as I can to make sure like none of my words are, you know, no one's actually filed anything for them. Because like, even prime example, wifey is actually, last time I checked, just the word wifey is actually tra uh, trademarked. And of course, the one woman owns um, Mama's Boy and, or boy mom and girl mom and you can't use like mama's boy you can't use like all of this stuff but anyways i do i have a huge feeling that like all of these companies are just taking freaking notes on all of this stuff and then they're just gonna hammer people like they're going to go after people and it's scary it's really scary it's insane like this is how Besides HVAC work, this is how, like, you know, buy my kids stuff and put food on the table and everything else. And, yeah, it's, like, gets a little rough at times. But still, like, I ain't trying to touch no, um, no Mickey Mouse Disney stuff. Like, you, thank you. That is not happening. I'll link that thing down below and too if you guys are ever interested in it I don't know if anyone belongs to it um it's called it's on Facebook and it's actually a really good group and they talk about a lot of stuff and they try to keep people updated with different things that are going on and stuff like that and actually I just pulled it up oh, my Facebook right now and it's called Trademark Watchdog Stop Frivolous Trademarks, which is kind of like consider the word like girl mom, boy mom, like that thing, like, you know, but you, that's, um, you guys can get on there and take a look, but I have an Etsy shop. In my Etsy shop, I've stated themed shirts recently. I had some football to the state themed shirts. I think like the word Alabama with a football, no mention of any teams, schools or anything, just a red colored Alabama football. Didn't even say Alabama football in the title. Is it considered copyright trademark infringement? I'd hate to have my shop shut down. And they reply, yeah, even if you don't say it, people would think that they are state football shirts. So it's just even something like that. And this is going to be a really long video, guys. I mean, just like ranting, but... I just want to know you guys' thoughts on some stuff, too. Like, I feel like we're kind of having a conversation here right now, but I'm just sitting at home talking to myself. Well, to a camera. But, anyways. Um, 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 um. But it is. It's just... It's insane. It's absolutely insane, all of the stuff that is actually trademarked. What was the other one I looked up? Oh, someone was actually trying to trademark um, bridesmaid. So you couldn't put bridesmaid on shirts. Or hats or anything like that. So it's really good to actually keep up on that stuff too for your business so nothing gets shut down. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Just even like two, a lot of people, um, which I've been seeing on TikTok, they buy like the Disney or football or stuff like that fabric 
and you're buying it, but you're actually only buying it for personal use, not commercial use. So it's not like you can actually just put that on a shirt or anything else like that. Cause I actually had a conversation with the one woman uh, up at Joanne's cause she was buying all kinds of NFL stuff on, cause their fabric was on clearance and even a lot of their Disney stuff was on clearance. Well, when we were all talking and stuff like that, I guess, I guess this is just what I was told. This is not a hundred percent definite thing. This is not like, I forgot to tell this. This is not like, uh, oh my gosh, I know what I'm, you know, I know this is accurate, but from what the lady that worked there said that actually she didn't know if they were going to be able to continue selling licensed fabric because I am not a sports person, but what's the uh, major baseball league? Is that NBL, I guess? Anyways, like the Pirates and stuff like that. So they, those teams actually pulled their fabric from Joann's a while back because of so many people buying the fabric and trying to resell like the actual fabric for commercial use and not personal use. So the MBL actually like, correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, I'm not a sports person, but they said that they actually pulled their fabric because people were uh, abusing the personal license. So kind of makes you wonder if you go to Joann's a lot of the Disney fabric was on clearance because I was looking at the one because I love me some Beauty and the Beast. I mean I could always relate to Belle because I feel like I'm a nerd but I've always been an artistic nerd I guess you could say but um not that Belle's nerd a nerd so don't come at me for that. I'm just saying she was just always in her books and wanted left alone. And I guess, you know, that could be considered it. But anyways, I was looking at that fabric up there because I was like, oh my gosh, this is like beautiful. I can make Averlyn a dress. Not like she would even freaking wear it because right now all she's doing is playing with, she has the one doll, but she'd rather play with dinosaurs and she literally was on the ground the other day with a cheetah going rah, 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 like across the floor. So she's a, she's a tomboy and I have no problem with that at all. Again, like I tell her, I said, you do you baby girl. So <sighs> I'm like so burned out on cowboy sets right now. And I actually want to, I have ideas for different sizes and different styles and all this stuff. And I can't even get to them. And at the same time too, I'm like, do I even want to do them? Because I feel like every time August hits, I get bombarded. And I swear it's because there's so many county fairs going on in August. And everyone wants to do that thing birthday. We'll see. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize if, you know, this is like super chatty and super boring. But then again, too, kind of just playing off some, hey, let's, let's chat. Let's have, let's get a conversation going. Let's see uh, what everyone thinks about stuff. do that. So close to being right on. And honestly too, if since I am going to be 
moving down to the basement soon where I will have a little bit more quiet stuff. I'm hoping this week. I am hoping this week if I can get a lot of this stuff done because I really don't want to be moving stuff in the middle of trying to get certain orders done. So I'm hoping it get caught up and I actually moved my processing time down to seven to 10 days. So I could actually focus on it, but if you guys have, I'm definitely gonna do a craft room tour and show you guys all of my goodies I have and my crazy items and all of that stuff. And you guys can have a good laugh of how much of a hoarder I am of different things that I haven't even touched for years, but I have them and they're mine. <laughs> but if you guys got any suggestions too on videos, I know I keep saying I'm gonna do a daisy dress. I have been trying and that's what I, whenever I'm making them, I've been trying to get different angles to give you guys like a better idea of how I do them. I ain't got anything to hide about that stuff. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, I already cut out those I need. But if you guys got any questions, if you guys like chattier videos, these are way too small, so I'll keep those for applique. If you guys like chattier videos, or if you guys, you know, have any questions about stuff, Feel free to ask. And again, if you don't want to ask on YouTube, feel free to send me a DM or I don't even care, send me an email. I am horrible at checking my email though. Probably better off sending me a message on Instagram because I'm pretty sure my one email, my personal email has like 8,000 emails right now. I ain't got time to check all of that. All right, I'm gonna put some music on. I'm gonna go get my speaker and put some music on. And I'm gonna get this stuff done. I might catch up with you guys in a little bit. I don't wanna make this vlog super, super long considering I've just been rambling and talking the whole entire time too. But I'll probably just pop out for a little bit, let you guys know exactly where I am here in a little bit and what's going on. And then I might just have it. I don't know. We'll see. That's how my day's going. It's going wonderful right now. Actually, it's not going. All right. I will catch up with you guys in a little bit.